Hey guys, Happy Dude here, and today we are going to change all the lights in the car. Everything is going to be LED, so the car looks a bit more modern, um, except for the headlight. That light I'm going to change with this Philips Extreme Vision, and not with an LED, because the only thing you're going to do with that is blind every driver you come across and your vision will not be any better. Uh, let's start by changing these lights in the front here. You just turn that against the clock and you can pull this off and then you can turn this and there's the light. You just pull it out as you can see, it's already a Philips. This is the original light from Volkswagen. And these are a lot more white. And you can see a lot better with the Philips light. Okay, when you push the new light in, just put it back. And then just twist it. It has to be straight in, otherwise it won't turn. And now it's in. And then just put the lid back on. Again with the clock. You will hear a small click. Okay, so that was the normal beam. And then next to that is the high beam. Just pull the rubber off. That's it. And in the high beam housing, we are going to use these Philips lights, the White Vision Ultra, because these lights are used to signal other drivers. And next to that, you will see the W5W. Those are the small city lights, also in the same housing. So we don't have any brown light next to that white light. If I would use a LED, that light would be too white. So that's why I'm choosing these. And also in the high beam, you can see these wires. That's from the city light in there. I already changed it because it's a very difficult one uh, because I don't have a lot of room to film it um, but you don't have to turn or click anything you just have to pull and it's very far inside the light the, so just take the wires wiggle them a bit and pull it very carefully until it pops out all right next up the high beam so this is not going to be a easy one to film but i'll try my best here yes so it's best to first pull out the black electric plug where the wires are connected to and then uh, use the metal clip that you see there to loosen up the light and then you can just uh, take it out. You don't have a lot of room, so if you can't do it, you will need to take out the whole air filter housing. Since this was my first time, I had to do it also, but now I can do it without removing anything. So now that everything is out, I can give you a clear view. So you can see, first I removed the electric black plug and then just push in that metal pin down there and push it to the side also so it disconnects from the hooks and then you can take out the light and put in the new one okay wow finally god damn this took hours 
it's already dark. <laughs> oh, every time you think it's a five minute job. It's difficult to see on camera, but right is a normal light and left is white vision. So you can see right is more brown than on the left. But you can see it a lot more better in real life. <clears throat> and the last one is the indicator. That's this light right here. So just turn it anti-clockwise. And as you can see, now it's a nice bright LED. LEDs are very good to use as indicators to signal other persons. They can see it more clearly at night and also when it's a very bright sun. And here you can see a nice bright orange light. LEDs are also way better in flashing. So to take out the number plate light, just loosen up these two screws and then you can simply pull it out. If you get a error message on the dashboard for the number plate lights, this is the error message that you get when your light is broken or you have a bad connection. Or they stopped working or they work sometimes but not all the time that means we have some corrosion on these metal plates inside here right here and also here if you do have some corrosion inside on the metal parts just scrape it off and then use some uh, electric cleaner Oh yes, that looks a lot more cooler and more modern. Apparently the rear lights are already LED. To change the lights in the ceiling, first take off the biggest piece. Just put a screwdriver between here and push it loose and pull a bit like so and then do the other side and then just pull it down like so don't pull it down like this or like this or like this because you can break these plastic pins here so just straight down and then take out this piece like so and now you can take out the bulb and replace it with an LED. I use these LEDs from Philips because they give an enormous amount of light. If the LED doesn't turn on, then just take it out and turn it around and put it back in. And now let's put the trim piece back like so. Alright. And then just this, just push it on. And that's it. 
The lights above the visor are also very easy. You can do it with your finger. Push these two pins to loosen up the connector. And then to take out this light, just with your two fingers, push these two to the other side and then turn it over and the light will fall out. And then just put the new LED in. That's it. And now you can put it back in. Nice. Okay, and now the footwell lights. So to take that one out, just take a flat screwdriver, put it here, and then just push the light out. And then just pull the plug out. So, let me show you, you are actually, put the screwdriver in between here and then you push this clip in, like so, and then you can pull the light housing out and then just press these two buttons. Now, we need to remove the metal case. So take again your flat screwdriver, put it between here, between the metal and the plastic, and then just glide between there and push it out. Yes, we got it. As you can see, it's already the LED, I put it there to push the light out just again with your flat screwdriver and push it out. Okay, we are done here. There's another one right there. It's the same. Then we have another one in the glove box. And it's also the same. Just put your flat screwdriver between here and push the light out. This one can be very stuck. You see? It's the same for the lights in the rear. You can just pull it off with your fingers. I have also built in some extra lights in the trunk because this is the only light you have in a Volkswagen Jetta so all you can see is this and the whole trunk was just dark so I've installed three LEDs on top and the cable is just connected to this one LED so when I close the trunk these LEDs go out just like the original one I also want to show you guys some normal lights and also some different LEDs so this is your normal standard bulb it's 2500 Kelvin and this is 4000 Kelvin also known as warm white but it shows more white in the video than in real life and this is 6000 Kelvin also known as daylight white you will see best with these lights 
and this is 8000 Kelvin, also known as Ice Blue. It looks cool, but it's very difficult to see anything with it or read. And here you can see them again next to each other. So guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more, and you all have a nice day, bye!